All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to get started with this Authenticator app. Normally, I would do this on my phone, but my phone does not allow me to capture the screen, so I have to use my computer. But after you're done registering on your computer, you can easily log in using your phone. It's very easy. All right, so I'm going to leave a link in the description to this web page, so you can come here, and then you scroll down, you select your operating system. So if you're using a MacBook, then you select Mac OS. But I'm using Windows, so I'm going to go for Windows 64. And I'll click download. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for you to get done downloading and then I'm going to install it. Alright, so as you can see it is done installing. If you don't see that screen, you just tap here. So you can click here and it's going to show the folder where it was downloaded to. So you double click this and then the installation process is going to start. So just give it some time to install and uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, so the software does not install, it just runs automatically. So all you need to do now is impute your phone number to get started. So I'm going to impute my public number and then I'm going to click submit. I forgot to add the plus. Okay, I'll click submit and it is asking me if this is my correct number. Yes, this is my correct number. Okay, so they are asking for an email that they can use to contact me. Okay, next click submit. Yes. And now they want to verify the number that I sent. So you can either receive a voice call, an SMS or a WhatsApp message. If you have your number registered on WhatsApp, then you can click here. But if you don't, then I'll recommend going for this one. But since I have my number registered on WhatsApp, I'll click here. So I just got a message on WhatsApp with the code. So I'm going to enter the code now. All right, so that's basically all. We are done with the registration. And now I can start adding two-factor authentication codes to the software. Now, like I said, you can do the same on your phone. It's just that my phone does not allow me to capture the screen because this is a security app and um, Android does not allow that. I don't know about iOS devices because I don't use one. Okay, so if I go to settings and I tap general, you'll see all the details that I used. This is a public number, so I don't really mind if people know it. This is also a public email, so I don't mind. One thing that I like about this two-factor authentication app is that um, there is a backup password. And um, even if someone is able to get your number, you can create a backup code that no one can know besides you. So if you enable this, you can create your backup key. So I'm going to create one now. So after that, I'll click Create Backup Key. So as you can see, it is asking you to store this key. That is the backup key you just created in a very safe place. Because if you lose it, then nobody is going to help you get access to your account again. So even if someone gets access to your phone and they maybe try to log in with another device, they're going to be asked for this backup key and if they don't know it then there's no way they can have access to it so i'm going to close here as you can see it says backup password enabled so from here you can start adding codes to the software you can also use your app you log into the app and then it's going to ask you for the backup code if you created one but anyways that's how you do it if you have questions please leave them in the comments and yeah i'll be seeing you in the next video